Logan Rosenbach, Avery Beck, Utah Tech, APP College National Champs. It's great to have you on the episode. Thanks, Thanks. for having us. And 10 questions, 10 minutes. We're just going to get straight into it. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do you it. You guys are the APP College National Championships 50K in scholarship money. If the money wasn't going to a scholarship, what would you spend it on? Um, for me, it's really going into savings, especially since I'm graduating soon and looking to start kind of businesses up and investing. Same with me, straight to savings. Wow. You guys are very responsible college students. No new gear? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe some, maybe some clothes, maybe some Lulu, but spend a little bit there. But otherwise for that, most of it goes to savings. Yeah, we if got had, spoiled at Christmas, so. Okay, fair enough. If you had to spend the 50K in one spot, one store, which store are you going with? Lululemon. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's pretty, pretty much both of us is where it's going. <laughs> Insane. Unreal. I don't know if I could spend 50k at Lulu. Like you would buy yeah. the, like buy a store at that point. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Unreal. Question two, your fifth and final game in the championship match ended two to two, literally two points to each team. Did it feel unresolved? Yeah, I, I wanted to play the game, especially because I know Django um, and I know Jack a little bit, but I wanted to play the whole match out and they kind of said, e it would be a little bit weird because then if say we lost the match, we still won the whole overall thing. Sure. So it would be a little bit weird to like kind of celebrate after losing. So I just wanted it right at two, but and I who, wanted to play who, the whole match. And where did that come from? Like who said that? Um, that was the, the actual, who was running it there. I think. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, they told yeah. us before the match started. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you get two, and like, yeah. were you able to fully celebrate after you had like just two points? Like, did it feel weird to celebrate that? It definitely did, yeah. yeah. It was weird. But, I mean, we knew it ahead of time, so mm -hmm. we knew what to expect, but it okay, was Okay, so fair weird. enough. Question three, this format was really unique. Every point counts. The total score through five games decides the winner and the loser. Is this something that you would like to see in the future? I think so. We're pretty used to every point matters just from MLP format in general, but this one was just like even more intense than that, but I thought it was a super fun format overall and I'd like to see it stay. Yeah, I agree with that totally. So you, you kind of want to see that it, it go into the future, that exact format. Yeah, I even like how we switch sides too, because with rally scoring where you're stuck on one side, it's hard to sure. find a rhythm, but sure. where we were switching back and forth, um, it helps to keep the game going kind of like a real match would. So I did really like that aspect of it too. Okay, right on. Question four, the fans want to know what's better, the APP College National Championship or the Duper one? Um, I We've kind of talked about it, but not really, but it's like kind of both have their um, goods and bads. I liked, I really enjoyed the APP's playoffs. I think it was way better with having the stadium court even when it wasn't filmed for um, semifinals, quarters and everything, just having that center court with like that atmosphere is super cool. Whereas before it was kind of like you had the four courts next to each other at the duper one. So it was a little bit different. There were still balls like your ball would go literally like hundreds of feet away and it'd take forever to get it and stuff. Um, I really liked having that center court kind of experience there. Yeah. Well, I liked about it. Um, was just the social part of it. We were a lot closer together with the other teams. Um, we got to kind of have good times, you know, banter with other teams versus at the Duper one, the facility was huge and everyone was so spread out. So we really yeah. didn't get that chance to even like interact with the other teammates that much. Well, wow. interesting, interesting point. Something maybe that Duper could change like smaller venue, mm -hmm. make, it, make it a little more intimate. Yeah, mm -hmm. make it more like almost a pro match kind of with, it's really cool. Sure. Question five, where do your guys' pickleball careers go from here? You got it. <laughs> um, for me, I I knew that in 2024, I just wanted to hit pro hard. Um, I did several tournaments last year, but um, I was mostly focused on college pickleball. This year, college pickleball will definitely still be a focus, but I definitely want to um, get my name out there in the pro scene. 
And what does that yeah. mean? What does hitting it hard mean? Like how many tournaments is that? That's, I want to do one a month. Okay, solid. That's a great goal. Yeah. Logan? I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, since hitting it pretty decent until college is over and then kind of reevaluating what I want to do if it kind of takes off, um, whether that's with whatever tournament sponsors, if I'm able to keep kind of affording it or if I'm just going to kind of go into more of the business side and maybe do one every couple months. But right now I'm going to do about one a month, maybe two at most until college is over and then kind of see where it goes from there. Solid. So that's, that's the pickleball aspect of this. Now we're switching over to kind of more so you guys. What else do you do besides pickle in school? Um, for me, it's really like lifting every day. Um, it's not, I don't do a ton right now just because it's work, school, pickleball. It pretty much takes up like a ton of my time. Um, planning on, like I was saying, starting up a business, like whether that's just with something with pickleball or something like different on the side. So always like thinking of stuff like that and stuff I want to do in the next couple months. Avery? Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I'm the pickleball director at a from an athletic club and I recently got that position. So I've just been super busy trying to build that program. Sure. Um, and so the same thing, gym, not a lot of free time to do much else though. Well, yeah. Okay. Question seven, Logan, you're graduating pretty soon here. What's one thing that college hasn't taught you that you wish it would have? Um, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's something coming up that I think I'm just going to kind of teach myself or have my dad help me out on, but definitely something I wanted to take, but I would have had to kind of jump into an accounting major and I didn't really want to do that. So that's something I feel like I should have learned, but haven't. Dude, everyone's got to go through it. I know it's the one thing that like college fails hard in is taxes. Unreal. Yep. It's Avery, crazy. anything coming to mind for you? I would say the same thing. <laughs> Fair enough. So question eight, you two are partners on and off the court. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. What's the best ship? Um, like relationship, like on or off? I mean, you tell me. Um, I, th I think off because when we're on the court, we've gotten over it, but we used to have a lot of um, fights on the court because we'd both talk to each other ways we wouldn't talk to other partners. <laughs> more of like when we're, you're dating, you're more comfortable talking. Um, we've kind of overcame it a little bit, but still every once in a while we'll get little fights and try and get over them, but definitely off the court, I'd say more. You guys are doing something that not very many people do, which is play pickleball with their like significant other, their partner, like mm -hmm. actually on the court. Yeah. Any advice to people? I would really just say it's just the positive, just always staying positive. The second anything gets slightly negative, um, because you're dating, it can be taken so out of context versus other partners wouldn't even think twice. They just brush it off. But yeah, just make sure you're treat, treat each other like you would to any other pickleball partner and not mm -hmm. just as a partner. Well, how do you a, tell somebody what to do? but in a positive way. Like, let's say you're doing wrong or you need a different sort of strategy. How do you say that in a positive way? Yeah, I try and think of it as I'm talking to someone like not my girlfriend, someone that would be a different partner, how I'd say it to them. Because as soon as you say it to your significant other, you are usually speaking in what is your natural tone. And it's usually a little bit more of a rude <laughs> kind of yeah. in general, both of us goes both ways. Um, but I think that's probably the biggest thing that helped both of us is like, think of it like a different partner you've played with. Like, would you say that to them? And you're like, probably not. So then that's where it kind of gets, it helps us a lot, especially like with, that was my ball, blah, blah, blah. You need to go, you shouldn't have sped it up right at their forehand, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Okay, love it. Question nine, I want you to rate these duos. Romeo and Juliet, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Shaq and Kobe, Avery and Logan. You go first. You got it. Mm -hmm. Avery and Logan still needs 
some work. We're, it's 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 gotten better as a duo. Um, okay. As pickleball partners, so I'd say that one wouldn't be first. Uh, who would be your first? You want me to go first? I'll yeah. say so. Mine would go. I'm saying Shaq and Kobe first. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going Romeo and Juliet second. I put us at third, and then Minnie and Mickey at last. Solid. That that'd be mine. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, I'd say Kobe and Shaq. Love uh, it. Me and Logan. Oh, two spot. Romeo, yeah, Romeo and Juliet, and then Mickey and then Mickey and Minnie. Okay. Question 10, this is a segment, a new segment called ALW. Avery, Logan, and the W is self-explanatory. So I'm gonna <laughs> give you some situations and you have to say which one kind of owns this thing. So it's gotta be a one word answer, either Avery or Logan, and I wanna hear it at the same time. Okay. Okay, four situations, ready? Gets more scared in horror movies. Avery. Avery. Drinks more. Logan. Logan. Decides what restaurant you're eating at. Avery. Avery. Is a better left side player. Logan. I'll, I don't know. I could, I could go either way. I'll say me though. It's pretty she'll close. Carry me on the, she'll it's carry me on close. the left side sometimes. I'm a, I like right side more, so. <laughs> me too, me too. It's easier. You have less responsibilities, yeah. I feel like. I love right side. Yeah, as like for us, it's left and right, but like I like playing left side more in women's and then he likes playing sure. right side more in men. Sure, sure, sure. No, that makes total sense. All right, I got the last thing I wanna do is see if we could end this episode worse than the 2-2 score in the final match. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, let's try it. Yeah. 